Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today we've got a couple of news stories in the world of tech and PC gaming. First up, we're going to be discussing a couple of NVIDIA topics, including a video which they recently put out where they detail the in-depth testing and qualification process that goes into making their GPU drivers as good as they are. And in there, they throw some shade at the red team and how their GPU drivers, let's be honest, in the past years have been a little bit lackluster from time to time. Also, NVIDIA is reportedly testing a 900 watt GPU on the Ada Lovelace platform and Grand Theft Auto appears to be getting an enhanced edition on the PC after an update that was pushed out. But first, today's video is brought to you by SuperCDK.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for just $22, and then you can unlock the prestigious Dark Mode for Windows 10, which I honestly could not live without. It is blinding without the dark mode you guys needed in your life. And now you can also save an additional 25% off at checkout by clicking Buy Now on any software products over there, just go ahead and add it into your cart and put in my code JP25 at checkout and apply, and that'll bring our price from $22.44 all the way down to $16.83, a savings of over $5. And I'll walk you through how to get your key and install it on Windows 10. Go ahead and click Submit Order and complete your checkout from there. For me, that's going to be with PayPal, and then click on Pay Now. After completing the checkout, it'll bring you to your purchased order page and it will update in a matter of seconds. Or just go ahead and hit F5. Go ahead and do that one time. It came through literally immediately. I got the payment email that it had gone through and the delivery of the product exactly at the same time. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click on view keys and codes and we'll get our code right here that we can go ahead and copy and paste in on Windows 10 by hitting the start button and typing the word activate. When you see that, activation settings or see if Windows is activated, go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this right here and click on change your product key or unlock Windows 10 as I already have Windows 10. I obviously don't need to put in a new key, but just paste it in and then go ahead and click next and you are all done and set. For more information on supercdk.com as well as the coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. First up, let's jump into talking about NVIDIA and GPU drivers and the in-depth testing that they do in order to push out game-ready drivers in a timely fashion and the shade being thrown at AMD for their lack of being able to do so on a consistent basis, let's say. So they put out a roughly five-minute video yesterday over on the NVIDIA GeForce a YouTube channel. I've linked all the sources down below via a one-tab link, which will also have that video in there featuring Sean Pelletier from the NVIDIA driver team, where he details how the company says it conducts 1,000 tests every single day across more than 4,500 different configurations in order to ship drivers in a timely fashion. And if that doesn't sound impressive enough, he also highlights that that equals 1.8 million hours throughout the year 2021, which was more than 214 calendar years of testing. So goes without saying they put a ton of time and energy into making sure they have game ready drivers for all of the big major title releases either on launch day or sometimes even a few days or even weeks ahead of those games coming out so that gamers are getting the best experience uh, on day one and in my experience that has typically been the case there's only been maybe a couple of times I'd say over the last like 10 or so years that I've been using Nvidia cards in my main systems that I've had any sort of driver issue and they usually were resolved pretty quickly or it could have just been resolved on my own end by running like DDU and reinstalling the driver or something like that, um, you know, which sometimes just happens here or there. Um, but honestly, the drivers have been pretty solid for me. I can't say the same with AMD. I've had a lot of driver issues with their cards, especially when new graphics cards are coming out. It seems like there's always some kind of an issue uh, with the press driver or just something stops working, whereas I honestly can't say that that's happened to me with NVIDIA. So there seems to be some validity to their claims here uh, where they did throw a little bit of shade at, a at AMD in the video and also in an extended blog post over on the GeForce website. Over there, they say, only once all this work is completed do we launch the driver via GeForce.com and GeForce Experience. And because the Game Ready Driver program and our promise of quality relies on all of this work, we don't really subpar beta drivers with minimal testing, let alone multiple conflicting beta drivers 
forked from different development branches that support different games and products, which confuse the customers at the end of the day. So there you have it. I think it's pretty clear cut and dry, you know, what they're talking about there, about how AMD kind of rolls out their drivers in, in various different steps, whereas NVIDIA has more consistently pushed out a polished Wickle driver, meaning that it's been Windows certified through quality testing through a suite of tests that Windows is re requires them to run in order to get that certification. And only once they have achieved that are they, do, are they allowed to push the driver out as a fully Windows certified uh, GPU driver. So there's always some comfort that, you know, in, the GPU owners can kind of take in that and getting a Wickle driver that it'll be, you know, a polished thing day one. So yeah, there you go. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on uh, NVIDIA's rigorous testing for GPU drivers and throwing some shade AMD's way with their somewhat wonky drivers in recent memory. But also remember, Intel is also coming right around the corner and we don't really know yet if their, their drivers are going to be uh, as smooth as NVIDIA's or if they'll have same similar issues like AMD, who after all, at the end of the day, you have to remember NVIDIA are making GPU drivers and only the GPU drivers. So they really only have uh, one product stack really to worry about. I mean, they have professional stuff as well, but um, it's a little bit different. Not really, uh, doesn't really matter much to gamers. Uh, whereas AMD, they're de developing drivers for desktop GPUs, laptop GPUs, integrated GPUs on their uh, rise, rising gaming chips or APUs, if you want to call them that. So they're trying to get drivers to work across all of these different products, whereas NVIDIA only has to worry about the GPU. Um, but honestly, you can't argue with the end result at the end of the day. It's been a running thing for a long time is that AMD has pretty crap drivers. Just kind of the way that it goes, honestly. Next up, we've got to talk about NVIDIA rumored to be working on a 900 watt TDP dual 16 pin power connector uh, beast of a card on the Ada Lovelace platform, which is rumored to be launching later this year. This rumor and leak comes courtesy of Copite 7 who has been a longtime and famed leaker over on Twitter and has had many uh, predictions and leaks and rumors and stuff like that verified over the years. And he's usually a pretty reliable source when it comes to this sort of information ahead of these big companies actually putting it out there. And in his tweet, he says, in fact, there is another full fat AD102 SKU with 900 watt TDP, 48 gigabytes of 24 gigabit per second GDDR6X with two 16 pin and higher frequency power connector, but no one knows whether it'll be coming to an actual product because the test board of AD102 has more than two 16 pin, 16 pin connectors. So everything is possible. And then we've got some tentative specs down here for the NVIDIA 40 series cards. Also, as I said, named Ada Lovelace is the current code name for them. But this would likely not be um, an initial product at launch, I would think. Like, he, they have it listed here as 4090, 4080, 4070. And this 900 watt monster would more likely be something like a Titan product or maybe a professional card, something along those lines. So it may never actually find its hand into uh, and find itself in the hands of consumers or an actual gaming card, but you never know. It's something that they're seemingly working on according to this rumor and link. So maybe somewhere down the road, we might actually see this in some ridiculously high-end gaming card, or we could see the return of NVIDIA Titan. We'll just have to wait, only time will tell on that, but definitely looking forward to the 40 series of cards. Again, rumored to be coming out later this year, but everything, all signs are kind of pointing that we'll probably see an announcement in August and get cards sometime in September. Again, though, take it all with a grain of salt. Next up, Grand Theft Auto had an update yesterday on the PC, about a gigabyte in file size, nothing really too crazy, but in there were the enhanced edition files that had recently come out for uh, the next-gen consoles with the next-gen update for Grand Theft Auto 5. So those files have now been discovered in the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 5, but it doesn't mean you can actually use these yet, and people haven't even been able to, you know, sort of like figure out a workaround to maybe get them working, um, you know, stuff like ray tracing and other feature up, uh, other other updates added into the game. So nothing really too exciting about this yet, apart from if they're adding in these enhanced edition files to the PC version, one has to think that it is only a matter of time before Rockstar actually goes ahead and pushes out an update for the PC version to add in some of the enhanced edition updates, like I said, like ray tracing uh, and things along those lines. 
So we'll just have to wait and see, and hopefully they don't try to charge on PC for it. They did charge on the next-gen consoles, but I feel like the PC, I, I, I don't know. This is Rockstar after all, so of course they're going to try to milk it um, for everything everything they can. But we'll have to wait and see on whether or not this is going to be a paid DLC, or if they're going to launch it as a completely different version that you have to buy at full price, or if you can if you already own GTA V, can you just pay an extra five or ten dollars, let's say, and get upgraded to it? Yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that. I think knowing Rockstar, they're probably going to end up charging for this thing. But this is something I was actually hoping to see because I've played this on PS5 a little bit with the update and it's very good, very smooth, looks great, honestly. And uh, even though it's just ray trace shadows from seemingly, it would nice be nice to see this get pushed out on PC so people on PC who can actually run it at full 4K and all of that um, can take advantage of it. So that's all I've got for you guys today in the world of tech and PC gaming. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of the stories and everything down in the comments below. I look forward to interacting with you guys on these topics. And I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you next time for another video. Peace.